with more Utahns getting vaccinated and more restrictions being lifted, many are asking, is life getting back to normal? Well, according to traffic flow numbers, UDOT officials say sort of. Fox 13 Scott McKay joins us live with more on that. All right, kind of a wishy-washy answer. Scott, <laughs> make sense of it for us. Yeah. Yeah, all right, sure. Uh, but according to those who keep the stats at UDOT, some of the things they can tell us at one point during were at points during the pandemic last year, traffic flow in our roads was down close to 60 percent. Very considerable. Now those numbers have crept back up pretty much back to normal. However, traffic patterns have changed. Uh, and they say that's a result, direct result of the pandemic and what folks were or weren't doing prior to that. Whether folks were working from home, staying home to deal with children who were distance learning or just flat out didn't want to go out in public. Those numbers stayed down for a while. But again, they've slowly picked back up and we're now close to full pre-COVID traffic flow in our roads, according to UDOT officials. It's just that some of them are taking part, are not taking part in the traditional morning and evening commute times. What we've learned over the last few months is that traffic volumes are about where they were prior to the pandemic, but more people are visiting national parks. They're, they're doing different types of trips. They're not all commuting to work. There's a lot of work at home, but overall the uh, traffic volumes are about where they were prior to the pandemic. So whether or not that trend continues, you've got officials say they just don't know at this point, but they'll be obviously keeping a very close eye on those numbers. Meanwhile, Utah Highway Patrol officials, they say they saw some disturbing trends. Troopers reporting to them over the past year and during the pandemic in particular, a fairly dramatic rise in the number of police pursuits, wrong way drivers, and those driving under the influence. Those are numbers they hope to reverse and, you know, through an education campaign and through enforcement over the coming uh, days, weeks, and months. For now, we're live in Salt Lake County. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.